The staging area is bustling with activity. Fire engines, water tenders, and fire professionals begin to assemble. The burn boss, hard at work since early in the morning, finalizes burn day preparations, confirming conditions in the forest, weather, smoke dispersion forecasts, and relaying plans to forest managers, fire personnel, and the public to ensure all the moving parts of a safe and successful prescribed fire are in place. Once everyone is in place, the burn boss and the firing boss start a small test fire to confirm that conditions are right for the burn. After evaluating the test fire, the burn boss makes a final determination to continue the prescribed burn as planned, to adjust strategy based on what they observe, or to put the fire out. Throughout the day, the burn boss coordinates with the firing boss, holding boss, and fire effects monitor to direct fire personnel to apply fire carefully across the unit. Keep the fire contained within the control lines and make necessary adjustments based on observations of fire behavior and fire effects. The burn boss may also choose to utilize personnel in strategic locations near the prescribed fire, such as roads or trailheads, to share information with curious or concerned community members. Once the ignitions crew have worked their way across the prescribed burn unit and holding crews have secured the perimeter, the burn boss notifies fire dispatch that the prescribed fire is complete. But what happens after the fire? How do fire professionals make sure everything remains under control after a prescribed fire is completed? Learn more at DeschutesCollaborativeForest.org.